Well, here's the engine that belongs on the uh, Pegasus. The engine's fine, but a long time ago I made a, a little error on a cleaner that I used on this, and it was highly alkaline. And it looked good for a while, but what it ended up doing, taking the aluminum and extracting some of the carbon out of the surface, and then we have these little black smut areas. Here's basically what I'm, what I'm dealing with in the beginning, right here. We have a combination of various grit that's dusty and dirty and everything else. Then we can come over where I've attempted with some of the cleaners a little bit, but you do see these, these smut areas that I'm talking about, which is nothing but pure carbon stuck in the very surface of the metal because it's not smooth. And then there's little better areas where I've actually used a fair amount of elbow grease, stainless steel wire brush, but as you, as you can see, this white I can get rid of. That I can do. It's aluminum oxide. It will get underneath that. But the smut, I'm having a hard time for any, any of the uh, cleaners to actually get under and lift that. That's a mechanical bond right there. It's not, it's not chemical. Well, I've tried several chemicals on this. Um, there are lots of uh, aluminum cleaners that would actually do it. Usually it's a combination between phosphoric acid and uh, hydrofluoric acid. Very weak, of course. But the smut itself is already carbon, so nothing reacts with it. It's a mechanical how to get it off from there. <laughs> and that's what I was uh, trying to avoid. Well, I've shown you this, but I just did. I've, I've blocked off the exhaust ports and the intakes, and just a little bit right in here, I have bead blasted this. And this is exactly the finish I would like to see when I get done. But I only did one little area before I block off all the parts and pieces. Then if you bead blast it, then we're going to lose the finish on the nuts and bolts and everything. That's glass. And even though you may block off all the ports, intake, exhaust, uh, the water jacket, there's going to be some very fine dust in its fractured glass. So washing it. One has to use a good detergent, not soapy, but extremely good detergent. Actually, Tide works really good because it doesn't leave too much residue. Uh, in the attempt to clean this, I've tried a few things in a little patch, little test places, and I haven't destroyed anything yet. So far, the acids seem to work the best. Uh, here's a, an aluminum, Aluma Prep 33. Basically, meant, again, it's pretty much meant for. Um, your extruded instead of your cast aluminums. But let me get this working here a little bit. Get a little water on here and we'll I'll do this on a much larger scale once it's time. Okay, we'll let this let this sit, see see we're getting a little reaction there. Now we've got we broke through a little, you know, surface. And then you can take you can take a wire brush, stainless, and agitate, which helps break the surface loose, and then we can wipe this off or flush it because this is all this is all water soluble, but we can see that we're brightening up this area. Plus, see this foaming right here by my finger? It is reacting, and it reacts better on this machined area than it does on this sand cast area. So here's what I'm dealing. That's what I'm dealing with. There's a lot of difference between your uh, extruded aluminum and a cast aluminum. This may have manganesium in it and various other alloys, so it's treated differently because the finish is basically a sand cast pebble finish. And um, actually one time uh, simonized concrete cleaner for a pressure washer. Not bad, takes a little bit of elbow grease because you have to get off any scum or anything that's on top. It will react with the metal directly, but usually there's a barrier layer in between of oil, grease. Doesn't look it, but yes it's there. And uh, here's a Napa Alumabrite. It works pretty good if you don't leave it very long on cast. Here's something. Here's a household thing I had at the house because at the house in Florida here we have a lot of iron in the, in the water. And when your sprinkler systems it puts an iron coating on. Well, it has the two basic ingredients of all the other uh, aluminum conditioners. Uh, hydrofluoric and phosphoric acid right here in household strength. So it's not it's not too severe on your hands, it says you use gloves, but it's not too bad. And uh, here's kind of a sealer actually for aluminum. I haven't got that far yet. Basically, it's chromic acid and uh, it acts as a sealer. You can also use, I've mentioned acids, you can clean aluminum with uh, basic things like 
uh, soda ash or, or uh, sodium hydroxide, but it etches it so fast uh, it leaves a, a, a surface that I, I don't want. I don't want to use. It's it's too quick. <laughs> it's way too quick, and it's so complex a surface you couldn't keep ahead of yourself trying to do it. So that's where I am with this so far.